Remember when the first LEGO Star Wars came out and it was the funnest game ever? Well, LEGO Star Wars 2, the original trilogy, was the first LEGO Star Wars game I played and in my opinion, it is miles better than its predecessor because it let you do so much more than just play the story. It gave you extra missions separate from the story, allowed you to create your own character, and when you hit 100%, like, you know, 100%ing the game, you're rewarded with a fountain of infinite studs. And because I love this game so much, I will basically do the same list that I did with the first game, where I rank all 18 levels from worst to best. And just like last time, you may be surprised with my rankings of each level. And depending on how this goes, I might also break this up into two parts. But either way, let's get right into the video, shall we? Alright, starting at the bottom of the list, we have Death Star Escape. And I don't know where you guys would rank this level, but hear me out. When I was a kid, I thought this level was pretty impossible in the beginning, because I didn't know how to solve the first puzzle, but once I finally solved it, I thought to myself, please lord, no more difficult puzzles ever again. Which, thankfully, we don't get one nearly as hard throughout the level. However, when you unlock a few doors, you get bombarded with stormtroopers, and the rest of the level is just ambush after ambush after ambush. And it gets super annoying because it just makes this level so much harder than it has to be. And you'll see yourself dying way more than in any other level. For those reasons, this had to be my pick for the worst level in the entire game. Right at number 17, we have Dagobah. Yeah, another level ranking I'll probably get hated for, but again, hear me out. What this level does well, it does really well despite having numerous issues with it. It stays true to the theme of Luke's training session with Yoda, and there are numerous segments to go and explore in free play. And that's pretty much all the good I have to say. One of the biggest problems I have with this level is that you have enemies, but there are bats and snakes. Like, why? If there were no enemies, it probably would have been much better. And without the extra segments and rooms, this level is just dark, very bland looking. Overall, Dagobah, as far as intensity goes, is the complete opposite as Death Star Escape. At number 16, we have Falcon Flight. And, yeah, out of all the spaceship levels in this game, this is probably the most underwhelming one in the game. All you really do is destroy asteroids and fly around trying to avoid, avoid as many enemies as you can. This level has very little substance. Like, yeah, you can access some TIE Fighter doors, but you basically collect minikits the exact same way. Like, you basically just destroy stuff. And if I was to list one good moment in this level, is that you get to go inside the giant worm and enter a double score zone. Other than that, this level is just dull and boring with not much to do. At number 15, we have the first level in the Return of the Jedi portion, Jabba's Palace. And while I will say that the design and layout of this level is absolutely fantastic, where it loses lots of points for me is that it's a very lengthy level, and it may not be as lengthy as Battle of Endor, but at least that level has lots of substance. This level, you really can't do much in it. And it's just very boring, especially in free play. And the Rancor fight, it's highly underwhelming. And yeah, that basically pretty much just sums up this entire level. It is just boring and dull. And 
And at number 14, we have The Great Pit of Carcoon. Okay, so I would say this is the first level of this list that I actually enjoy playing, despite being ranked so low. It is the epitome of ups and downs. As far as the good parts of this level, there are definitely plenty of them. The puzzles are clever. It's not overly frustrating, but not too easy either. The extra activities to do on and inside Jabba Ship are very fun, and the overall design of this level is phenomenal. Where I don't like this level is how hectic it can get. Yeah, this level can be about as bad of ambushes as the Death Star Escape level. And you have different types of enemies too, which makes this even more challenging especially at the very last segment, where it gets super difficult to get up to the big machine gun, where you can uh, end the mission once and for all. But other than that, it's a pretty fun level, especially since right in the middle, you can actually throw a dance party. At number 13, we have Betrayal Over Bestman. Now, I'm probably going to leave this one short because there's really not much that I have to say about this level. I, I actually do love the Bestman Betrayal, but like Dagobah, it's pretty basic and to the point. Not that that's a bad thing, it's just harder to say things about it. But I will say I do not like the end ambush with the Millennial Falcon because I died so many times during it. But other than that, everything else in this level is just fine. From repairing C-3PO, to fighting Boba Fett, to solving pretty clever puzzles, I really have nothing overly negative to say about this level. Alright, coming in number 12, we have Rescue the Princess. And I will admit, when I played this level, I did not like the fact of losing Obi-Wan, R2, and 3PO. Because that really worried me as a kid, because I didn't think I could finish the game without them. But, in the end, you realize you don't really need them to beat the level. Just disguise yourself as a stormtrooper, and this level should be a cakewalk. And by the way, I love playing a pretend stormtrooper, because nobody notices who you really are. And as far as the level goes, it's a really fun level, as far as action and substance. My favorite part personally, is when you enter the last elevator and you get to enter gun chambers and shoot down TIE fighters, shoot down 10 and you get lots of money and I think a mini kit but I'm not sure I'd have to go back and play. And you get to visit a giant hot tub in the Death Star and disrupt the party. Overall, this level has enough elements to keep you wanting to play it over and over again. I most certainly did. Right here, number 11, we have Cloud City Trap. Uh, Cloud City Trap is a very different boss battle from all the other ones. And I'm even counting different from the ones in the first game. There are so many puzzles that you have to solve in order to make it further into the level. And there are numerous instances where you face Darth Vader, but each face-off is very different in their own way. First, you have to use R2-D2 to turn on smoke machines to duel him as Luke, which you later do again. Then, you use the force to hit Vader with objects, and then there's the final battle on that balcony. It's really interesting how this level is set up, because it challenges you in more than one way. And while it may not be my favorite level in the game, there is one word that definitely best describes this level. Creative. Alright, at the top of the bottom half, we have the Battle of Endor. This level honestly has so much to do and is very long, so I'll try not to go overboard with this one. Now, the fact that the Battle of Endor is very lengthy is why it ranks just below the top half. However, this level has got so much going for it, to the point where you will not be bored. You get to use a wide variety of characters and their abilities throughout the story, and the objectives are very creative, but in free play you can do 
so much more. The fight with the ATSD walkers is epic, and as much as it should look like a mess, it is very organized and easy to get through. The puzzle in that Imperial Bunker is super fun, and I just love the overall atmosphere of this level. Even in story mode, this level gives you tons of activities to do, aside from story activities. Well guys, I think like last time, I'm going to wrap things up halfway through the rankings or else we're probably going to be here for a long time. So stay tuned for part two of my level rankings of LEGO Star Wars 2. Please subscribe for more content, click like if you enjoyed, leave a comment to share your thoughts, and until then, I will see you next time.